um, while I was away for my Easter break, recuperation, rest, whatever, you know, lazing about for two weeks, whatever you want to call it, um, my husband and I went to the fantastic cottage bookshop at Penn, which we discovered is being sold. It's going. As of the end of May, there probably won't be a second-hand bookshop in Penn anymore, which is understandable, I suppose, but also extremely disappointing because we've just discovered it's there. We've been going every time we go down to the in-laws. We pop in, we get some books for us or the kids. And to suddenly discover that the only decent bookshop that we found that specialised in second-hand books in the south of England really is going. It's really disappointing. So we went in twice um, to support it. Because the beauty of the cottage bookshop is you never know what you're going to find in there. It's one of those shops where you go in, the ladies behind the till know exactly where everything is. So if you want something in particular, they'll point you in the right bookcase, the corner, staircase, whatever. And you root. Books are stacked too deep. Books are stacked on the floor. The shelves are literally fall to ceiling. You can spend hours in there looking and still not see everything. It's quite an amazing place. So, I'm going to share with you the book haul that I got from there. I think we got about 60 books in total. Um, but obviously some are from my boys, some from my husband. This is just my, my pile of books that I've picked up. So, I've got book two of the Poldark series. Um, this is Demelza. These are written by Winston Graham. And it's in the matching cover that my Ross Poldark is in. That I picked up about this time last year, actually from the cottage bookshop so I have the second one I might actually get around to reading this series one day maybe for those of you that paid attention to my Christmas reading I read a Debbie McComer book and I liked it so much I've actually picked up two of her books this is um, 1022 Evergreen Place and Summer Wedding Bells there was about 10 of these books to pick from um, they're very much cosy, local community, romancy, dramery, life problem things to be solved. But they're just really cosy and easy to read. Um, I really enjoyed her Christmas one. It, it was a real good pick-me-up, a feel-good book. So I thought I'd give these two a go. One's about weddings and one's about family drama. So we'll see what happens there. A last minute nab in the shop was this beauty. This is Dinah Wynne Jones' um, Charmed Life, which is the first book in the Worlds of Christomancy series. I have been looking for this cover for absolutely ages because mine seems to have gone walkabout and I don't know where it's gone. Uh, my cover actually had a separate jacket on the top, so this bit of artwork was on the second cover underneath, but it matches the rest of my series. I'm really chuffed and I love this series. If you like light-hearted, wizardry, witchcraft stuff, this is a really good series to read. And then finally from the Cottage Bookshop, I've picked up Scottish Battles. Um, this is by John Sadler. Um, regular people will know I'm quite interested in Scottish history and anything to do with sort of Scotland. And I was rummaging through about three or four shelves full of books on Scotland. Uh, again, too deep. The books came from like the 1950s onwards, so there was a, quite a wide variety of books to pick from. I finally settled on this one because it's a good general background of all the major battles in Scotland um, over its turbulent history. And uh, it's got a lot of battle plans and military information in it, uh, which is something I haven't got at the moment, so I thought this would be a really good one for my research and writing. Then while I was down there, I popped into High Wycombe, um, and yes, we poodled into the Waterstones there. It was good, but there wasn't anything in particular that I was looking for, which is a real shame because lots of new books had come out, and they just went on the shelves. So we trundled up to WH Smith. We'd gone in there for some colouring stuff, actually, and we don't normally buy books from WH Smith anymore. We find that the selection is nowhere near as good as it used to be. But my, the bargain shelves caught my eye. And this was sat there. This is Diana Gabadon's A Breath of Snow and Ashes, which is part of the Outlander series. I think it's one of my favourites in the series, actually. And uh, as you can see, it's not a small book. 
and this was on the bargain shelf. It was actually on the one pound bargain shelf. I just said that had to be wrong. This book has got to be in the wrong place. There's no way this book is a pound. It's a little bit dirty where it's been sat on the shelf. There's a few scrumpled corners of pages, but on the whole, it's in pretty good nick. So I got the uh, till lady to check the price for me. Yes, it was a pound. Bargain. And it matches half of my series because I've got the old UK print covers for a lot of them. So I'm really, really chuffed. The only annoying thing is it's so big. I don't think it's going sit, to sit on my shelves at all. And then finally yesterday we popped into the local supermarket. That's Tesco's for those that live in the UK. They're doing their two books for £7 um, offer at the moment. And uh, yeah, I know we shouldn't buy books from supermarkets because they knock the prices down and the authors end up suffering. But this was on offer. Um, this is Children of Blood and Bone, which is written by this lovely lady here. I'm not going to try and butcher her name at all. And uh, this book is doing the rounds on BookTube at the moment. Everyone's raving about it. The lady I spoke to in Waterstones was raving about it. Her co-worker was raving about it. I've picked it up. I will get round to reading this at some point. Um, but it was on offer. And I can't refuse offers. I'm sorry. Purses are tight at the moment. But also as part of that, as you notice, I said two books for £7. This was the other one we picked up, Skullduggery Pleasant Resurrection, which is book 10 in the Skullduggery Pleasant series by Derek Landy. Um, you know, two books for seven quid. I can't even quibble at that, so there we go. I mean, as it was, our kids' magazines were more expensive than our books. Go figure. There we are. That is my impromptu Easter book haul. I have some gaps filled in in my bookcase now. I have some new books that I want to read. I have books that I want to reread. And I have some good researching as well going on there. So I'm really chuffed with my book haul. It's not as big as some people have been showing off lately on YouTube. Sorry. It's not as big as some people have been showing off on BookTube lately. But that's okay. I like my books that I've picked up. And, you know, I've given them all a new home, which is lovely. So please share with me on Instagram or leave links down below, your book hauls over Easter. That would be lovely to see what everybody else has been picking up. Obviously, this won't be counting my fairy loot box, which comes through in a couple of weeks' time, or any new print books that I really would like to read and will have to order, because obviously they're not getting stocked in the shops, which is so annoying. Um, but yeah, so... Show me your book hauls, please. Um, show me what you've been picking up. And any recent recommendations that you think I would like to read, please let me know. As always, my social media links are in the description box down below. As is the link to my book blog, you will find all sorts of rambling stuff on there. Please go and check it out. It's all book related. So you don't have to worry too much about pickies of cats. Although there might be a couple. Maybe. Book related, of course. And uh, as always, thank you very much for watching and happy reading. Bye.